play winners finals and then losers finals. And then back to grands. And if they win that set, they go back to grands, and they may have to play a fourth set. And that's yeah. that. Yeah. At that point, that's just decision fatigue. Yep. I, I, at that point, when you get the grand, you just say, nope, I'm going to drop the controller, I'm done. And with that many games in, you've practically seen all the options that both teams have as, long, as far as either combo potential or how they are reacting to you. So it's going to take a lot. you got to have a lot of stamina. you got to switch it up. You yeah. can't play too linear because it could cost you everything. Yeah. Just, just switch to Incineroar. Or, um, <laughs> or not, I mean, I don't know, with all the hits going out, you could just revenge it and kill someone at two. Yeah, it's great. I love it. Taper forward smash, mid-stage revenge, oh, you're just dead. Doesn't matter what percent you're at, you're just gone forever. It's great. I love it. I love Incineroar. He's mi high mid-tier, at least. Or mid-high tier, rather. Mid-high tier? One of those two. He's somewhere in that region, and I love him. He's so wonky, but... I love it. All right, we got... Pikmin, let's be honest, it's Pikmin, it's not Olimar. Alright. Olimar just throws him out there, they do the all the dirty work for him. Alright, but who, who's in Winner's Finals right now? We got Calm, Adorable Knight, Goma, Kempi, Jahira, uh... I don't know. Didn't they already pull it? No, they didn't. No, these two no, teams didn't play yet. opposite sides. Yeah. I don't know why. The one and two seats. Yeah. Adorable Knight was supposed to team with Blue Bear today, I, I believe. Yes. But Boo Bear ended up just not being here. Is he not going to show up for singles either? Or? Probably not. Unfortunate. I, I would love to see him play here. Definitely. But he did really well at Frostbite too. I, I didn't pay much attention to Frostbite. I'm trying to remember 92nd or 60th, whatever is after that. I. All right, Luigi down tilt stupid. Why is that a thing? That's that's Little Mac down tilt from Smash 4. Adorable Knight and Column just kind of laughing it off and... Jahira and Goma just kind of intently trying to focus, you know, shaking off just what Adorable Knight is doing. He, that's something I both really like and dislike from Adorable Knight. It's that he will absolutely meme on you, and I hate it, but I love it. You're like, as long as I'm not the receiving end of the meme, that's fine. Yeah, but I'm usually on the receiving end of it on stream, and I hate it. I've been putting like five compilations by him alone, and I hate it. <laughs> he heard me and he's laughing. Up smash, gonna scoop up Falco. Alright, um. Still looking pretty. I don't wanna say one sided, but. Yeah, well, yellow team, you know. Just kinda toying with them at this point. I mean, that's what Adorable Knight does. He will play with you. He likes to play with his food, and he knows it. He knows what he can do and what what he can't do. He's good at fighting games in general. I, I, I room with him and his brother for a year, and I just watched him play, him and play Injustice, and he played one of the worst characters in the game, and you're still getting wins with him. Cyborg. He plays Cyborg. But Adorable Knight losing his first stock, but looking pretty healthy. Yeah, definitely. Well, let's not forget, I know Goma's got backup characters. I know Adorable Knight has a young Link as well. I don't know about... I don't know if Colin will bring out Falcon. I think he gave up on him. I don't know. I think a lot of Falcon means are giving up on Falcon. I don't know. A lot of them said they're going to try and pick him up after, I guess, Fatality did de decent at Frostbite. I didn't really look. And Jahira losing his last stock at 54%. He kind of got gimped that first stock too. Like, he... Try to up and he just didn't go far enough. So, oh, yep, go on my left with that left guard button. All right, so is this where matchup inexperience is going to come into play for uh, for blue team? Or for Goma, rather. It's funny, they were down the whole game, and then out of nowhere, Goma just took two stocks back to back. All right, I'm not going to lie. Luigi's dash tech being an actual move makes me upset. I mean, he kind of deserves it. it yeah, he, he does, but at the same time. I just feel mad getting hit by it. And the yellow team taking game one. So I convincingly. Uh, it was, it, yeah. David's smiling. He, he knows what happened. Run it back. Run it back. Whoops. I love that stage. Come on, people. 
I, I, mm, depending on what character I'm playing, I like it too. If, if, I'm, if I'm playing Roy, I like it. If I just, I'm playing Krom, I like it. If I'm playing Incineroar, no. I just like the background. It's nice. The camera when it zooms in on people. I know that a lot of people find that distracting, but I like it. Mm. But speaking of stage choice, whenever you go to after your battlefield, do you have a certain preference of which one you go to? Not really. Mm. No. Well, I mean, like, what form of battlefield or after you go to, no, rather? Not really. I always go Dracula's Castle. One, go! You, you, you kind of learned my aesthetic, but Jahira going Lucina, that's probably the better choice. They, uh, the yellow team was kind of kind of dumping on the Inkling, but yeah, now they're kind of dumping on the Lucina, too. Ooh, that was a nice bait from Calm. He made it seem like he was going to go out and carry Lucina. Lucina with the counter, and Calm just went back to the stage and jumped off and back at him. Got him at 80%. He, he hit him with a good move. That was a uh, back air. Yeah, a nice back air. Look. Yeah, nice back air. It's not DK back air, but it's still a pretty nice back air. Why is Falco's back air better than most characters? Like some characters, and Jahira as Dean to his last stock. That's oh, but let's be honest. It's because uh, Adorable Knight was at 69. That happened. They got that power up. Oh my you, god! You that know, double I, dash attack from Luigi. It's such a good move. Why does Luigi have good moves? And then you look at his recovery and it's like, oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, that's why. Ooh, but All right, nice follow-up from Goma, but still, they're going to need to uh, secure at least one or two stocks just to tie it up because uh, there's one. Does it look like that? And Jahira with uh, another SD. Jahira didn't live to 100. <gasps> uh. All right. Too bad it wasn't a fresh stock. That would have been a lot better for the blue team, but I, I mean, take what you can get. I would have just puked all over myself. That would have been dog like that, I'm not gonna lie. Just spike him with the big gomer. Ooh, nice parry. He parried the uppy! I thought he would be a dude again. I was gonna be so mad. I mean, they got nerfed, but soon and Mars still have magnet hands. But big gomer kind of kind of putting Jahira on his back. No offense to Jahira, but that's kind of what's happening right now. But this is Yellow's team. This is Yellow team's game to lose right now. Nope. Oh, he tried to hit him with a toilet bowl, but that don't work no more. It would have been funny though. I've seen an adorable night hit like eight dash attacks with Luigi, and I'm not gonna lie, it made me mad. <laughs> Especially the two that he got back to back. I'm like, really? <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, they made dash attack and a dash attack a real combo. Ooh, nice back air from Goma. All right, um, if Jahira can live, and I commentator's face. Why'd you say that? <laughs> why why you gotta say that? Why gotta do so it? I'm so sorry. Why gotta do it to him like that? I didn't mean to, but it just happens. You know, I, I learned my lesson. Every time a commentator goes to say something, it just, I we just need to keep quiet, you know, because... Down tilt. Oh, Kalamnut's not ready for the follow-up. Yeah, that would have been a uh, back air and uh, pretty sure maybe a stock depending on where you got him. All of them are not too heavy. I, I really like how Adorable Knight is just covering all of the roll options just right behind Kalam. Yep, yeah, can't. Let's go, let's go frame one reflector. Yep. Ooh. <laughs> Call him saying something and Adorable Nine just not having it. Ooh, <laughs> look at Colum. Look at him, he got them six stocks. He's feeling good about himself. He's feeling good about himself right now. Look at him. Look at the child. Look at my baby boy. He has that little stubble growing. He didn't shave this morning. Makes it feel a little more like it's a man. Like shaving for, no shaving for like three months, let's be honest. <laughs> Poor kid. I love you, Colm! Right. <laughs> Originally, I think Adorable Night Blue Bear were going to be the first seed. Definitely over Goma, Jahira, but since Blue Bear didn't show up, they dropped to the second seed. Now, I, I'm not gonna lie, it was a last minute team up between these two and it's working out. But they're both from 
Oh no, Calm's away at school, isn't he? Well, he's originally from West, so it, yeah, yeah. it kind of comes naturally. Yeah, it does. But David being probably the best doubles player in Michigan outright. He can team with basically anyone and it works. I do. Right. Oop, no, go ahead, go ahead. I, I did like that recovery from Combs, kind of hovering over Goma to just not get spiked. And Blue Team doing a lot better than the first two games. Ooh, nice parry from Adorable Knight. I think Goma's starting to realize, kind of starting to catch on to Yellow Team's habits, and they need to change it up a bit more. Uh, yep. And Jahir is saying, hey, I'm Lucina, I have a sword, I'm one of the best characters in the game, please hit me. And then Olimar does Olimar things, I think is what's going on here. Yeah, definitely. And it all, oh, oh, okay. Unfortunate. And it all comes back to what we were talking about before the set. In a best of five, you have an extra game or two to adjust to what the other team's doing. And I'm not going to lie, it's looking a lot better for blue team than the first two games. Parries all around. I suck at parrying, so I... I do it accidentally, but... <laughs> <laughs> like, I parried, uh... Dux's jab from Fox twice back-to-back, -back, and I was like, whatever, I'll I'll pretend like I actually meant to do that. And that drag down fair from Colin going to take out Jahira stock, but... Yeah. Oh, we got a shield break! Oh, We're God. in a bad spot! Oh, uh, alright, nice save from Adorable Knight. He hit him with the Kindergartner. He was like... Eh. I'm telling you, that dash attack. Oh, God. They made it into a good move. It, it, it came in at a clutch moment. But Colin finally losing his second stock. Yeah, and uh, blue team with a slight lead. Colin in a bad spot, but recovers. Ooh. And all right, yellow team both down to their last stock, and blue team still four stocks. Lucina with a little bit of percent, but let's be honest, Sorties are okay with that. Mm -hmm. Oh god. Please. I was scared, but then I forgot. It's a 30. <laughs> well, not only that, they they buff get-up attacks all around. They yeah. actually gave him intangibility for invincibility frames on uh, the attack itself. So, you know, it works. It's an actual option now, not the worst option you could ever choose ever. Goma just edge guarding them, not letting him come back. Oh, and an air dodge from Colum. I thought he was gonna ask me the nice tag. Oh. oh my God, Goma, let this man breathe. I wouldn't let my man breathe. Oof, Ooh, <laughs> up smash. He literally down aired him on the ledge like eight times back to back. Would not let him come back, and finally got him with an up smash. He just kept smacking with a big Gomer. Yep. And Colum kept either tagging or. Oh God. Boy. All right, but this is definitely looking like it's gonna be a blue team win unless somehow adorable knight. Oh, yeah, yep. Yeah. I mean, there wasn't much you could, he could do. Nope, nope. That was it. Um, yeah. But game four. Game four. Uh, blue team definitely making some really good adjustments. Let's see if they can keep this going because it, it was pretty convincing that you know they finally doing what they're supposed to do. That was a little more one-sided than we've seen in the set. Yeah, definitely. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, I'm exhausted. <laughs> Same. I thought I was gonna be fine, but whatever. I've been up since 4 p.m. yesterday. I woke up at 6. P.m. yesterday? No, this morning. Oh. Okay, but what had happened was... I win. My sleep schedule is up right now. So Tuesday into Wednesday, I stayed up. Wednesday, I drove to Chicago to pick up my parents and one technician at the same time. Um... So I got back after being up for like almost 48 hours, and I passed out for 24. So, yeah. 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 So my sleep schedule is a little weird. I didn't go to sleep till like 3 in the morning and woke up at 6 in the morning because I had to drive to Dakota. So. I'm okay. I thrive off of no sleep, though. Did we see a team change? All this talk about sleep, and we slept on their picks. I, th I think they're still playing the same characters, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Three, All right. Um, one, Towns. 
which is uh, he screamed. What? Colin was like, "Wow, that was sick!" And that was because he Jahira immediately parried the reflector, the frame one reflector, mind you. But this game's starting out a bit how the rest of the games are starting. Yeah, know? Jahira just eating a lot of percent, and Goma doing racking up a lot of percent. Oh, and a shield break. Oh god. But get safe from Colin. Colin needs to stop spot diving. Yeah. yeah. But we got Falco combos. Oh, ooh, if that was anything but that color where Goma got him, it could have been bad news. Oh. Oh, good job from Jabahira just kind of the stopping the dancing blade. Because otherwise he would have gotten smacked by Luigi. Yep. Ooh, nice parry. Yo, Jahai was a god. He's paired like half of everything in this entire set, and it's great. <sighs> and a forward smash on the teammate. Well, that that was a sick reach from Goma. Yeah, it was just on the wrong person. Definitely back throw. Yeah. Adobe and I just kind of stealing that, that Pikmin's lunch money. Ooh, Ooh! He sniped him with the upper. Let's go. All right, that was a little clutch. I usually hate purple Pikmin, but I'll give him credit for that because that was nice. The purple carrot. Purple carrot. Do they really taste like carrots, though? Uh, I've been told. I'm sure that's been confirmed by one of the characters in Pikmin at some point. I think it was Louie, but I'm not sure. I never actually played a Pikmin game, so I wouldn't know. It was not my cup of tea. I have, but it's so long ago that I don't remember. And all right, blue team. You know, Goma barely lost his first stock, keeping it somewhat reasonably close. Got a percent deficit, but in... But Luigi just as damaged as Lucina, so I mean, it's practically a tie. And is it... Are you really at an advantage if you were at a tie with Olimar? Ooh, nice counter. Oh, ooh, nice forward smash. Nice forward smash. Ooh. I honestly thought uh, Goma was going to get Jahira with that down air. Luckily, Jahira managed to avoid it. Yo, this game is a mess right now. It is, as Easterping would call it, a glorified free-for-all, and I can see why. F oh, smash. Oh, boo, call him. You just read him. You read him like a book. It's not over till it's over, and uh, Falco kind of about to die. He, he read those carrots like they were nutritional information. He just eat them up. Just, oh. I didn't know birds like carrots. Oh, as much to take it. All right. But like um, he ate that one, you know? Just, just not. It wasn't a healthy one. Ooh. It was a rotten one. He died for it. Oh my God! Two up airs and test spot dodge and. I feel like Olimar is just an up air into yeah. Yeah, into whatever yeah. his imagination is. Oh, nice back air. It's Luigi. Oh no! And he air dodged, so that's gonna cost him. And a two v one, and Goma still has I mean, pretty low damage. Ooh! All right, that was yeah. Unfortunate, yeah. yeah. That's that's where Lucina really shines with that guarding. Yep, definitely. And are we gonna see her first three out? I mean, they're making. Okay, that game was definitely a lot closer than the third mm -hmm. one. But it's... But it was definitely starting to look like it was going to be in on Yellow Team's favor if it wasn't for that SD from Adorable Knight. I don't know what happened. It, it wasn't really an SD. He had no jump, so he had to air dodge. And Side B would have gotten smacked. Yeah. Yeah, so, he mean, had no other option, I guess. It was just either I do it or I... I either I die from my own free will or I'm going to die because I have no other options. Cause because my character's bad here. Yeah. This is my character's weakness. I know your two characters really don't have one, but I mean... Our characters have weaknesses. One, go. Game five. I'm kidding. I mean, no, you kind of not. It's kind of you kind of right. I mean, you kidding, but you know. Yeah. All we've been seeing is Goma edge guard both of them convincingly, and it is a struggle for them to come back on stage. So, if anything, they should probably. Oh God! Oh God! Attacks everywhere. I don't feel like the. The whistle should have super arm on it. That's just me. Uh, okay, listen. I get why, but I agree with you. But... 
I feel like that'd be a fair, fair adjustment to all of them, and a fair adjustment to Lucy, but like kind of adjust knockback on certain things. Oh, we gotta, we gotta connect to the internet. Oh no! Oh, that's just a thing. Your access to the software will expire in 30 minutes. Hello? <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> well, hopefully this set doesn't take 30 minutes. We are in game three, y'all. Yellow team. Oh, that's oh, unfortunate. Wait. Ooh. Okay, I just realized that was uh, Adorable Knight's second stock. And Big Gomer died to dash attack. Yeah, Gomer, a bit of a, you know, weak, light character. I don't want to say weak, light. So, again, Gomer just loves getting them off stage and then just dares or backers them for the nice kills on the line. Ooh, nice stack. Ooh, and that cost Jahira his stock. He won two Ds. Is that going to be the, set, the game changer for this? Is that going to be what Yellow Team needs to, to switch the momentum? Can David hold on to a stock long enough to get, you know, Big Gomer's last stop? At this point, I would focus on Jahira because he's obviously been the weak link for Blue Team this entire set, but I think Blue Team has also realized that, you know, it's Where a lot easier to gimp Adorable Knight than it is uh, Column, so... Yeah. yeah, I mean, still, it could go either way. Oh. I mean, if you screw up edge guarding Luigi, you get hit by a coin. If you get, if you yeah. screw up getting... If you screw up edge guarding Falco, you might get spiked for it. It's, yeah. it's a big, more risk-reward risk thing. But David having to take the share stock. Now, yeah, things are... I don't want to say looking grim, but I mean, Misfire, Misfire do it. Oh. All right, so we back to practically an even game. If they can take out Column before Jahira loses his stock or Goma takes too much damage, I'm gonna say, oh, put it in the best spot. Oh, excellent recovery from Calm. I really appreciate that recovery. Hitting his teammate, realizing he hit the wrong person. Oh, he oh, did it again! Oh, no. So many miscues from Blue Team have put Yellow Team in a position to win this. But can Goma clutch it out with Big Gomer? Or is Yellow Team going to take that W to the bank? Are they going to take that W that was basically handed to them? Yeah, because let's not forget, they got rid of uh, Adorable Knight's second stock relatively early, and it was looking like it was going to go to Blue Team. Oh. Ooh, he's in a bad spot! Yeah. And Yellow Team taking it. It's unfortunate for Blue Team because for the last three games, they were basically in control for all of those games. Yeah. In Game 5, they threw it away. They threw it away from a bunch of...